What's up guys, this is Niklas Huschenbeet and this is the first game from my game against Hutch. So who's Hutch? Hutch is a huge YouTuber. He has almost 900,000 subscribers. And what he does on his channel, he plays all kinds of different games. Mostly computer games, but he's also a huge chess enthusiast. So I came across his channel and I decided to reach out to him because he seems like a pretty cool guy. And we decided to play a handicap match and we did a live stream of almost two hours in which we play blitz games but with a handicap for me. So for example in this first game you're about to see I'm playing with one minute against his 10 and later on we also did some blindfold matches. Throughout the whole stream I was also talking to Hutch via TeamSpeak so at the end of the video you'll see how we talk about how to become a grandmaster and what it means to be a grandmaster. So I hope you enjoy this video. So let's go. So I have to be quick obviously um, because otherwise I'll just lose on time. So he plays the Karo Khan and oh he's he knows his opening three and he plays quick uh so i actually already um got out of my opening theory but i don't have much time to think really um so i'll just keep moving quickly and see what happens i can play bishop b5 if he allows it probably he goes 97 but um yeah 97 is a good move and this will be a challenge because uh, due to my computer streaming I'm losing more time than I would usually lose um, and now I can play d4 yeah I'm in trouble here he's he's just killing me here and, uh, so now he takes and he's just up a pawn he's better he's better he plays fast and he plays strong. This is this is kind of scary. Um, but we'll see what I can do. So I gotta get my pieces out. Knight goes to a3. And but I feel like I'll have a really hard time against him because he's playing good moves. He's playing quick, and I'm. <laughs> I'm not playing good moves and I don't have time so this will be really difficult I want to play just king h1 to get out of this uh, bishop um, so king h1 probably play a6 push my knight back yeah, and that really doesn't do much on b5 it was just a quick move I played in order to play some kind of move uh, because in bullet you really can't think for long this is just okay so he plays this um, I gotta drop back with my queen move move oh man that took me five seconds that's way too long I wanna play b4 maybe yeah okay can I play b4 it probably takes this one on on a3 he can take it yeah it would be a good move um, Otherwise, I'm probably gonna go b4. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is way this is probably way too tough. Um, okay, now b4 and g4 maybe. Can I go g4? He goes maybe bishop d3. Ah, bishop d3 still has. Okay. Yeah. He can give a check if he wants to. Oh, he went there. I thought he gave a check, but he didn't. Um, okay, now I'm in even bigger trouble because he'll pick up another pawn. Yes, he did that. I'll bring back my knight. But yeah, I'm just two pawns down uh, <laughs> for no compensation. Um, he's playing really good. Uh, n no mistakes whatsoever. And he's just crushing me. What can I say? 
So probably we have to adjust it a little bit because this is not going to be enough time for me uh, with the little lag. Oh, bishop e3. Mm. Miss bishop e3. And yeah, I can pretty much resign if he plays bishop e3. I shall resign. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Then I'll keep keep fighting. And I probably want to go rook e1. No. Queen d2. Is that even threatening rook d8? Maybe. But I just have no time. He'll just he'll just win on time here. Uh, there's no there's really no hope. Um, I can just start pre playing primos, but that's all I can do. And he's really safe with his king too, so that doesn't help. Um, yeah. That's a good move, yeah, just defending. I have to just play pre-moves and hope for the best, but um, obviously this is not going to be enough here. And even on the pre-moves I still lose some time, actually. So it's not even I... I, uh, I don't spend any time at all. Um, so this is <laughs> this is a problem. Okay, let me pick up another pawn. Let's go back here, play c6, and send this one. Maybe place rook f6. Uh, I don't want to. Oh god, this is this is dangerous. Oh, rook g3. He played good move. Oh, what? What? Promise I don't have a move. Okay. Alright. Okay, let's talk to him and see what we can do. Um. Hutch, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, good game, man. You played good. You played well. Dude, you crushed me. That's, this is so exhausting for me. I don't know what this is like for you, but... Oh, really? <laughs> okay, we got this, friend. Okay, so... Hey, so, I have this, a question for you. Do you yeah. if I ask you a question for people that are watching the stream? And have sure, go ahead. Chess? What what exactly... Can you explain to, to my viewers what a Chan Master... Or, I'm sorry, a Grand Master means? Like, what work goes into that in order to get that, that sort of a title? So, Grandmaster title is the highest title in chess that you can obtain. And takes a really long time. So I've played chess all my life. I started when I was like four years old, and um, it took me a really long time. So you need sp to fulfill specific criteria. You need a chess rating of 2,500 Elo feeder rating. So that's a world chess rating. And then you also need to achieve three grandmaster norms. So that is a grandmaster norm you can obtain if you play. A really good performance in a tournament and there there are once again like several criteria you need to play against a specific amount of grandmasters you need to obviously play a really good tournament and it has to be a specific length and need to be a specific amount of foreign players so it's really not easy and yeah it took me a long time what was it what was it like the day you got your grandmaster rating that just the happiest day of your life? <laughs> no, not quite. I mean, there are other things in life than, uh, than chess, but it's pretty awesome because it's a title for life. So no matter what I do, even if I drop down to whatever rating, I will still always be a grandmaster. So it's oh, pretty you cool. Never, you never lose grandmaster rating. Exactly. You, yeah, oh, the title. Really cool. You can lose the rating. You can drop below the, the, oh, yes, the rating you need, close. but you, you won't lose your title. Is the same? What is the? Is this? Does the same apply for um, a national master and international master titles? Once you get those, do you never lose those titles? I believe so. I know definitely for the feeder titles. So that's feeder master, international master, grandmaster. That's true. I don't know about the regulations for the titles in the U.S. Such as I think there's national master, and maybe expert. Not sure. So I, I would assume it's similar, but I I'm not familiar with those. How did I do in the Karo Khan? Because I just recently switched to that. 
yeah, you, like you, days ago. you played really well. I mean, you won a pro pawn early on by playing d4, and then um, you won another pawn. Then you had a crushing move, in fact, where, where I would have resigned right away, which was on... Um, so you, you see the notation on yep. the right. So yep. go back to go back to um, thirty one knight takes d four. Okay. So here, if you play bishop e three, I can resign right away, because you'll just pick up the the knight on d four. Yeah. 